from North London tried every conventional remedy for her skin complaint, but nothing worked till she drank a foul-tasting and smelling Chinese brew, which she says has cured her completely. I managed to, to take it for five days, as one should, and the effect was absolutely stunning. But now experts are warning that some Chinese medicines, either wrongly prescribed or made up of cheap fakes, can damage your health. There were 15 hospital cases last year linked to the use of Chinese herbs and two deaths. Now toxicologists say we need to know more about the substances being used. We already have a lot of the information. What we'd like to do is to bring it together in one collection that would be therefore available for the practitioners, for students, and also importers. Both practitioners and conventional medics now agree that only further research will give herbalism the credibility it deserves. And that's it. We're back in business breakfast, but now let's take a look at the weather with David Lee. Good evening to you. Well, some fine sunny weather across many parts of England and Wales. And that lifted temperatures up to 26 degrees there in the West Midlands. But up to the northwest, quite a different story. Here, large areas of cloud moving through Northern Ireland and many parts of Scotland. It's given some light rain uh, during the course of the day, but now through this evening, we've got some heavier rain pushing eastwards into central and western parts of Scotland. In fact, that's associated with this uh, cold frontal system, which is going to move slowly southwards, probably ending up across the middle of the country during Friday afternoon. And that's going to bring some rain southwards. The computer picks it up there in the northwest. It spreads it slowly slowly southeastwards and bring some drizzly rain around these coasts of Wales by the end of the night. But we will see much warmer night than last night, all that cloud around and drizzly rain, 14 or 15 degrees around those Irish Sea coasts. In fact, tomorrow it'll be again be a warm day, particularly in the south. Quite a warm and muggy day, in fact, 24, 25 degrees, but much cooler and fresher across northern Britain as that cold front uh, precedes some Atlantic air. So there we are, we have this band of cloud and rain across central areas on Friday morning. It's going to push its way south, so clearer skies into Scotland and Northern Ireland, pushing southwards into northern parts of England through the afternoon. But as the band pushes its way south, it could set off some fairly heavy showers through the Midlands, East Anglia and some parts of the southeast. So the test match is certainly vulnerable for one or two of those through the afternoon. And also incidentally one or two showers up in the far north of Scotland. Now, during this weekend, the front does continue south, but it really slows up along those uh, southern coasts, but it will get away. And then we have a ridge of high pressure, but later in the weekend, another low pressure centre moving in from the west. But that actually could move in quite slowly. So Saturday morning, we start off with that cloud and drizzly weather on those southern coastal counties. Most other areas fine. That fine weather pushing south, so a fine afternoon in most places. And even the showers in northern parts of Scotland should gradually die away. On Sunday morning, it'll be a dry and fairly sunny start across most parts of the country. But that next low system coming in brings some cloud in and eventually in those western areas some rain by the end of the day. That's it. Good night. Well, if you were watching at this time last night, you'll know that we experienced some technical problems with this week's Inside Story, which prevented us bringing you the programme in full. We'd like to apologise for this once more and can now tell you that the programme about the Dion quintuplets will be shown again in full on Sunday the 18th of August at 8.40 on BBC Two. Saturday night on BBC One, and Captain Mannering has delusions of grandeur. How's the battle going, Marshal Ney? I can't see a thing. It's your own fault, sir. I told you we should have set down the front in the nine pennies. <laughs> it's full swing ahead with Jimmy Tarbuck at 5.55, while Joe Dury plays dog tennis in pet swim prizes. In a new series at five past seven, Fraser is trying to head due south. I spent my entire life in the North Woods tracking criminals. I have a natural advantage here. It's the National Lottery at 7.50 with special guest Francis Rossi. After the Essential Olympics, Bob's back on the spot. And with athletics coverage from Atlanta in Olympic Grandstand at 10.30, that's the lineup for Saturday night on BBC One. Losers on and off the pitch. New comedy coming up in half an hour with Atletico Partick. First on BBC One, the lads are loaded. On the case. All right, lad. Instinctive. So we're definitely with this rapist is gay, are we, sir? Well, what are you saying, Benny? You might just be a bit short-sighted. Instructive. Run off home to your mum and dad. 
Can you explain to him why a cop has done that to your face? Impulsive. I can always tell when you're lying because your lips move. Do we look like Richard and Judy? Out of the Blue returns. Monday the 5th of August on BBC One. Including Britain v Malaysia in the men's hockey, Desmond Lynham brings you the action from Atlanta in half an hour. A new comedy from the creator of Rab C. Nesbitt, first on BBC One, football, infidelity and outrageous tactics from Atletico Partick. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Have we worthy in a minute, pal? Horon! I'm <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Forbes. Um, what, what sort of job are you looking for exactly? A job like yours would be good if you got paid for snoring all day. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Mr Forbes. I've had a rough night. Uh, now, I'll let you know if anything comes in. What was your line again? Faith healing. <laughs> I do the laying on of hands. I just hope you'd come to me with piles, you bastard. <laughs> What's up with him? I don't know. I mean, they come in here looking for jobs. <laughs> Bloody idealist. I mean, why can't they just push drugs or joyride like normal people do? Speaking of which, do you think this is an evil dog barn now? <laughs> Hold on, I'll find out. Hey, Stick, is that your white BMW or leopard skin seats parked outside? No. Mine's is the grey Allegro with the faulty exhaust. <laughs> Why? I think the streets are clean again. Oh, I see. You guys. Never happy unless you're taking the mickey out of someone, aren't you? <laughs> Just drop by to give you these. Invites to my party. You're having a party? I hope there's going to be adults this time. <laughs> and no conjurer. And it took me weeks to get the Ribena off my tongue. <laughs> Look, I've learned my lesson. These days, I can down a lag or shandy with the best of them. <laughs> my advice to you two is simple. Be there or be. <laughs> Oblo. <laughs> Got it. Chitty bye. Look lovely in the spare bedroom, wouldn't it? Spare bedroom, sure. Or on second thoughts, maybe it'd be better in the kitchen. What do you think? Kitchen. Kitchen. I'm familiar with most of the house, but I can't place any kitchen. You got me there, Jack. Oh, come on, Karen. Try and take an interest. You know how we'll love coming into Habitat on a Saturday afternoon and wandering aimlessly about. It's a well, it's a tradition. Yep. Then we'll go to Marks and Spencer's food hall, buy our own body weight and cheesecake, get a foreign film from Blockbusters, and sit and bluter ourselves on chili and chardonnay, and try and forget how mind-bendingly bored with each other we actually are. Face it, Jack. We're on the rocks, and you're in denial. This lantern looks awful pretty, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Jack, I've had it. I've had it up to... Oh, it's Ali. Ali! Hi! Wonder what's up with him. Maybe it's because he missed that sitter against Borussia Bishop Briggs last week. I tell you, Karen, that guy couldn't score in a barrel load of fat. 
Karen, are you all right? Oh, yes. Well, let go of that poor fella's bum, then. <laughs>